Mike Gross, RockinGuitarLessons.com, YouTube.com slash RockinGuitarLessons1, and the Striper, the official Striper YouTube, which is YouTube.com slash StriperTube. I do the uh, guitar lessons and drum lessons and soon some bass lessons on the Striper channel. So uh, this is a request that I kind of overlooked. I got so many pages of requests, it's insane, man. So uh, it's Waiting for a Love That's Real, and the, re the subscriber is GSXR Burn. Tune standard for this one. Killer song, killer riffs, killer band. And here's, it's played off on the uh, string three here, the G. Go open G, and then second fret G. And then palm mute it two times afterwards, so. Then open G, palm, or er, no palm mute, and then the open G twice palm muted, so. Third fret. And then two more times palm muted. Second fret. So we have. And then two times palm muted after that. See the pattern? One without, two with. Open G and then second fret G vibrato. And then stay on the second fret and hit it once and then twice with palm muting. Same thing on the open. Once without, two with. Same thing on the third fret. Once without, two with. Then second fret, once, and then once with. So. Or, then go open G, second fret G, pull off to an open, and then third fret D, pinch harmonic vibrato. And then third fret G, three times, same concept, one with no palm mute, two with. Same thing on the second fret, same thing on the fifth fret, same thing on the third fret, and then second and third fret on the G with a pinch harmonic. So. Then go fret five, slide to the seventh fret on the G. Then go fifth fret G, pinch harmonic. Third fret G. So we have. Then middle finger, go to around fret three on the B. You don't hear the start note, you just go for the effect of the slide up to fret six. Then fifth fret B. Back to 6th fret B, you're going to pick and pull it off to the 5th fret, and then go to the 5th fret G. So, okay, and then it starts over, minus the open this time. In other words, you just start on the 2nd fret. Follow me? second one they jump into the B flat chord right after this a little bit of a challenge if you need to subgroup it and just practice you want to get used to that change and you'll go two times on that B flat that's 1A and 3D when you do these chords a lot of guitar teachers I've been teaching full time since 1992 it's all I've done it's all I know it's all I'm good at I can't fix my cars, man. So 1A, 3D, but with these chords, the muting is just as important as the notes within the chord. Um, in other words, a lot, of, a lot of teachers seem to leave that out. They're like, oh, you'll just get it over time. Well, let's explain it, man, because uh, you're gonna eventually end up doing it or it's gonna be sloppy. You're gonna wind up hitting the sixth string and then having to go. It's like, what? I know that's clear and that's clear. Well, you hit the low E. Dummy Mikey, gross. So, if you mute it, you don't have to worry about it. You'll play it two times. Quick rest, and then here's uh, the verse where Mike Sweet comes in. 
once you get that, it's going to repeat that rhythm on the next chord. 1 E, 3 A. It's an F5. Hit the power chord, string 6 and 5, and then palm mute the 6th string twice. You're going to do that dun, 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 four times. And then hit the power chord. Hit the string 6 once. Hit the power chord. Hit string 6 once. And when you hit the string 6 once, it's palm mute. Yeah! Same exact rhythmic beat with your strum hand. Go to 5A, 7D. Remember the concept I taught you about muting the above. That's, that applies to below too. Your fingers naturally will make that run usually, but occasionally, you know, someone when you do something like that, you purposely want to angle it like a bar chord. Same beat. Open A, second fret D, let it ring. 1A, 3D, let it ring. Or no. Sorry, open A, second fret D. 5A, 7D, twice. It'll go. Third fret A, pinch harmonic, vibrato. Ugh. Got it. And then 1A, 3D. So we have. Hope I had that one right. You'll go two times on strings five and four. Two palm mutes off the A string there. Don't lift anything. Then the power chord again, string five and four. One more palm mute on the A. And then hit the power chord again. And then. So. Cool part. Third fret D, pull off. I believe it's a pull off to the second fret. Palm mute the third fret A. And when I talk about subgrouping, sub guys, it could be something as small as that, just three notes. Okay, so. So you'll palm mute the D, and then third fret pinch harmonic vibrato on the D. Then you go right back to that F5 power chord, start it over. Oops. Lost it. I totally lost the rhythm. My brain took off. I lost the rhythm. It's all right. I got it right the first time around. It's the same as that one. Okay, then. Open A, second fret D. First fret, third fret A and D. This is what I was teaching you earlier. There's two variations. And then, so you hit those. And then move that a whole step sharp up to three and five. Mute the third fret A, down up down, it's a triplet. 2D. Palm mute that D. So. Then go third fret D. 3A, palm mute. Second fret D, palm mute. So. And then third fret D, pinch harmonic vibrato. Subgroups, guys. So critical, so critical. Um, shut this sucker down. No, I won't. I'm gonna play it on the outro for you. But anyways, take these things in pieces, man. That's really what it's about. Um, as long as I've been playing, man. Started back in around '82, '83. I'd say '82, but I didn't really play. I thought I did. 
you know, you can only do Rocky like a hurricane and living after midnight so many times, and let's get crazy for Quiet Riot. But, you know, we all start somewhere. But, uh, Striper was a big influence, man, a huge influence on me. What I loved was their boldness, and they could play, man. Because uh, prior to that, you know, there was there was Christian bands around, but they were, it was like Petra, it just wasn't, Striper came out and rocked, man. They were playing with, with Dio and stuff, so. Mad respect to Striper. I'm honored to be on their YouTube channel. I think they're a great band. Um, I love their boldness. They're great players. They got the <clears throat> the good songwriting down with the positive message, and they're still doing it to this day. So, uh, love me some Striper. Make sure you subscribe, you know, to my channel and the Striper Tube channel. Uh, my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash rock and guitar lessons one. I've got approaching 1100 uh, video lessons on there. My website's coming, rockandguitarlessons.com, that's coming within a matter of days. By the time you see this, it's probably already going to be out, or close to it, December of 2012. It's $25 a month to become a premium member there. Byron, thank you, brother. Your dude's got a degree in, in uh, this computer technology stuff. I don't. I'm a computer dummy is what I am. I, can, I just play music. But uh, he's hooking it up. Uh, my teaching on Skype, my uh, Skype name is Rockin' Guitar Lessons. If you're interested in doing uh, some private personal lessons, that way we can work on the things you want to work on. It could be sweet picking with taps or tricks or whatever, or rhythm or picking or strumming, whatever styles you want. Nothing replaces the one-on-one -on -one approach with teaching you guys. I've been doing, doing it since 1992, man. I've talked about every store in the Inland Empire. And... Uh, so I've seen it all pretty much and I know what works and what doesn't work. And these YouTube lessons, they're great. You can learn from them, but you can't interact. And that's the cool thing with Skype is I, if you play for 10 seconds, I'll know what to show you. Um, plus you get to pick what you want to work on. It's, there's really no replacing it. So if you're interested, add me at Skype only if you plan on doing the lessons there. They're not free. I gotta keep the lights on, keep the studio running, pay the bills, take care of the family. And, uh, but these YouTube lessons are free. Um, I also have an Ultimate Beginner's Guide DVD. It's two hours of lessons and uh, gift, gift certificates available, all that fun stuff. And uh, if at all um, you would like to donate to this channel, it is so appreciated. If you can't, I totally understand. But if you can, there's a store I'm trying to get out of real, real bad. No kidding. Uh, and I would love to be exclusive for you guys, and, but I can't, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in a bad situation at a store that I don't want to be at. And um, I would love to be able to be here more for you guys. So um, if there's any way you feel led to donate, my PayPal email is tvxpunk, and that's Television Victor X-Ray. That's the initials. Punk, P-U-N-K, at AOL.com. Um, if you can't, it's fine. If you can, cool. It'll be one step closer to me getting out of a situation that, that's bad. And I want to be doing this exclusively. I love this, and I love the YouTube community. I would love to dedicate time just to this, my website, and my Skype lessons. And it'd be awesome. So we'll see. Thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, be sure to subscribe also to youtube.com slash stripertube and support an amazing band with integrity and a good message and all that stuff. Great players and uh, still rocking it out to this day. Striper. Love the guys. Michael Coca-Cola. What's up, dude? Thank you. And we'll talk to you guys later. I'll play this a little bit for you on the outro.